I want to ask you, what is your favorite thing about Coach Lee? My favorite thing about Coach Lee is that he going to keep it real with you every time. Coach Lee ain't a man that's sugarcoated nothing. He's going to keep it real with you and he's going to get everything you got. As long as you get him what you got. What's the ultimate pregame meal? Uh, I'd say probably uh, dirty rice. Jambalaya. No, jambalaya. Okay. All right. Jambalaya All right. and baked chicken with a salad on the side. What is your uh, favorite football-related memory? Favorite football-related memory would probably be when I played my rival team in high school. The running back, he broke out. And it was my first, it was my first time ankle biting ever in my life. I grabbed a shoe, and pulled him back, and he fell on his face. It was so funny to me. When I watched it on film, it was hilarious. <laughs> I want to ask you, what is your favorite thing about Coach Lee? Coach Lee, man, he, he brought me out here. He took a big step. He had faith in me. He told me to come on. It don't matter about your size or how tall you are, how big you are. He sees the football player in you, and he going to turn you up every time. What is something not related to sports that you're really good at? Um, I'm good at being a leader. Good at being a leader. I'm a manager at the job that I work at. I'm good at taking control of situations. Awesome, man. What life lessons has the game of football taught you? Man, be patient. Don't give up. Give it 100%. Don't let anybody tell you that you can't do anything because you can. I ask you, man, what is your favorite thing about Coach Lee? Uh, he's just easy to talk to. I feel comfortable. Uh, I usually have a hard time talking to people, but... Uh, he showed up, told me everything about JMU, and I felt comfortable already. That's just something not related to sports that you're really good at. Um, I say I'm pretty good at listening. Like <laughs> I said, I don't like to talk, so that's my main thing is just I sit and listen. What's the ultimate pregame meal? Probably some chicken pasta. That's pretty good. Hey man, what is your favorite thing about Coach Lee? Uh. Really, uh, he gets after it. Really, uh, he touches everybody's heart, makes us feel the energy and the atmosphere that he carries with him, and really, that's what I love about him. All right, so you were the first ever JMU commit. What's that like? Uh, it's crazy, really, but uh, it's a blessing. Like he says, is we came here to do something great. That's what we're about to do. We're about to prove why we're here and that we're here to stay, and it's real. What is your uh, favorite football memory? Oh, mm, probably, probably the first practice because everybody just came together and met each other, and we just all became fr best friends, and now we're like a family. What is something that is not related to sports that you're really good at? <laughs> um... Uh, I'm, I used to do gymnastics. I'm really, I'm really, a, I guess, athletic. And, yeah, I could do all those kinds of flips and all that kind of stuff. Who has been your biggest supporter on your journey to becoming a JMU football player? Uh, probably my mom and dad and my little brother. Every time I run into trouble or start having doubts, they just pick me up and dust me off. Man, I just want to ask you, what made you decide to become a college football coach? Man, uh, I had a coach, you know, kind of did what I was doing and changed my life. And uh, my mom always said I was going to help uh, with kids, and I never knew what it was. Uh, but once I started finding out what I wanted to do in my life, I wanted to help kids. I wanted to impact their life, and I wanted them to leave their legacy. So what do you look for in a potential player? Uh, you know, a, a, lot, a lot of coaches are saying looking for height and size and all that type of stuff, but... Really, the only thing I'm looking for is heart. You give me your heart, you give me everything you got, and I feel like I'm, I'm one of the best coaches in the, in, in the world. It might call me crazy, <laughs> but I feel like I can develop a lot of kids. If you just give me what you got, give me your heart, uh, we, we, we'll take care of the rest. So what is your favorite football-related memory from you as a player, coach, whatever you got? Uh, it's probably when I was in my um, – I just got done playing football. I was in my grad, uh, grad year as a grad assistant, and I had an opportunity to go to, the, uh, go to Atlanta for a tryout. And uh, that same week, we had a uh, game against the University of Cumberland that's ranked number ninth. And, uh, you know, all my life, I was trying to go to the next level, go to the next level, but God put on my heart not to go. So I didn't go. Uh, I started, I stayed, helped him coach, and we actually beat him. And seeing those guys smile and seeing those guys happy, that's, that's something that really made me feel like that's what I really wanted to do. Instead of going to do what I wanted to do, I was able to help those guys in their lives.
what is the ultimate pregame meal? Oh, it's got to be some type of pasta. It's got to be pasta. It could be spaghetti. It could be chicken fettuccine, whatever the case may be. And have me a little piece of garlic bread. <laughs> All right, everybody. I'm here with JMU head coach, Coach Don Lee. And I just wanted to ask you, you know, what made you decide to become a college football coach? Um, back in 1993, a coach changed my life. And he told me if I finished school, he was going to change my life. So I ended up going with him in 95 to coach at a to start up a junior college in Alabama, in Georgia. And it was called Middle Georgia College and just fell in love with building. Awesome. Being a college coach is very time consuming. So what do you like to do in your free time? <laughs> what free time? <laughs> <laughs> I thought you might say that. Oh, uh, what I like to do is I like to build stuff. So I, I've got an old 65 car I put together in about 10 years that kind of with my own hands. I took an old Harley and I built it. So I, I'm, I'm a builder. I just love using my hands and using my mind to build things. I wanted to ask you, what's your favorite football-related memory from when you were a player or a coach? Um, I have a lot. Um, the finest memory I had is kind of like a team that I'm taking now. I was at uh, Concordia College, and we went to play a team in, in Mississippi, Mississippi Valley. They was ranked, um, and we ended up beating them. And at that time, we were able to change Concordia College around. I want to ask you, what's the ultimate pregame meal? Ultimate pregame meal is you always want to keep it light. So it's a little steak, um, a baked potato, not too much starch, uh, vegetables, no milk, kind of keeping it light, water, and kind of proteins to go along with it. All right. What do you look for in a potential player? Their heart. That, that's the first thing. Uh, a lot of people look at the talent. I look at the heart. You can, a coach is supposed to be able to coach the little things. So if you got the heart and he's willing to give you your heart, you want to be able to teach him the techniques. That's awesome. Last question for you. If you could have dinner with any NFL player ever, who would you choose? Mm, that's a tough one. Um, I've had a lot of kids to go off to play at the NFL, but my another finest memory that I was able to sit down and talk to was Kendrell Bell. He was a young guy that I uh, found in Augusta, Georgia. He ended up playing, me for, playing for me at Middle Georgia, going to the University of Georgia, and then he ended up going and being the rookie of the year with the Pittsburgh Steelers. He was kind of my my guy that I really took a lot of time with and to get him to the league. That's awesome. Thank you, coach. Thanks.